looking for the ultimate electronic option other than the thermocell. Might have found it right here, the EMR40 from Nightcore. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, Jake Sleeves from Blue Collar Outdoors just filmed the Nightcore EMR10, which is very, very similar to uh, your, you know, old, trusty, reliable thermocell. This one right here, I think, is going to be a very big hit especially for bow hunters or duck hunters, waterfowl hunters in general, uh, fishermen, you name it, because this thing's a lot, it packs a lot in a tiny package, and it's a really stout package. So let's open it up, and we'll break it down and show what makes this thing special. They do come with mats themselves. The EMR, EMR10 comes with 10. The 40 comes with uh, 3 here. And then it comes with your charging cable, your instructions and then the unit itself now I gotta say this thing feels like it's built like a tank I mean it's it's got some girth to it it's a little little stout it's heavier than the thermocell but it's got a battery inside of it this bad boy right here has a 7800 ma lithium-ion battery built into it so you just charge this unit which is right here um, it is, wow, that's that's actually sturdy. I don't think that's going to rip. The waterproof rating is IPX5, so it's not waterproof. I know I made that mistake in the Flextail. I just went with what they said on their thing. Don't do that. Same thing with uh, the EMR10, so it's very similar in that. Um, let's see. The runtime, just breaking it down from this, it's a 10-hour max, which... It's pretty freaking awesome to have something this small be able to run for 10 hours. That is great. It has two modes. It has indoor mode. It has outdoor mode. That gives you 11 feet of coverage, protection, and 16 feet, which for something this small, uh, what I'm thinking about this is, is it's got this built-in clip. It's stout. I think using this as a hunter would be a dream because this is nice but if you lay it down in your in your layout blind or panel blind or whatever it's only really getting you this right here in a panel blind you could be able to just latch this right on right in the middle so you're covering everybody uh it's a smaller profile there's no butane needed you just charge this throw a mat in there you're good to go for a bow hunter's situation you could put this right on your harness and you'd be fine you could cover you and the camera guy if you film like we do um it just has a ton of options and it's very small also if you're hunting deer with it you could use the thermocell earth scent if you're one of those guys that really care about scent profile uh you could use a thermocell pad in this to use this little bad boy it's pretty simple i like simple things this is simple so let me zoom in so you can see this. You can see here you have two things. You have indoor, which is the house. Then you have a mountain, which is outside. Indoor mode, outdoor mode. You have four light panel here. You push this button. I don't know. It might be too bright for you to see, but all four are lit, so it's 100% charged. Uh, that's your battery level going across. I mean, it... It's pretty self-explanatory. Every time you lose a bar, it's 25%. Okay, to power on, you tap once and then hold down the button. There you go. You see, well, pointed the wrong way there, buddy. You can see the outdoor mode is selected. And I'm assuming, yep, you just double press and that gives you home. And must be double press again. Nope, you just hold this and it'll turn it off. Now, this thing right here, the coolest feature about this is if you're like us, you often have some sort of battery pack or something, and USB-C is pretty much used for everything, my cameras, my mics. Um, you could actually just plug this right up to a power bank, and you could run it while it's charging, so you could really amplify. Like, I have the power station here. I've already done videos on it. Um, I'm actually charging my phone right now and some mics. But 
I could have that or something similar charging this so you wouldn't need to even waste battery. So it's kind of cool, um, especially in a camping situation. Most of the time you're going to have something like that uh, there present so you could keep it running. And then that way you're never going to run out. The only thing you'd have to do is, you know, change the mats out. But I got to say, for this tiny profile, this thing feels, it feels stout. It actually feels really well made. I do know they have the FCB uh, heating system. It's the 2.0. I'm not exactly too familiar with it, but I know that it's going to generate... Uh, everything you could possibly need. Heat's not going to be an issue to activate the ingredients in the repellent. Um, but once again, I, I don't like talking on things that I don't really know that much about. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not really too familiar. The I believe this is the exact same mat as the other one. It, yep, it utilizes pr pralithrin and 10 milligrams per piece. Think about this until just now, but this pocket knife I have that just uses a scalpel blade is a night core knife. <laughs> I didn't even think about that until just now. But I've had that on my, my phone keys for a long time. And you can just swap out the blade and you're good to go. It's a nice little phone knife, or phone knife. It's a nice little uh, key knife. There you go, that's how it looks, brand new. To load it, pretty self-explanatory here. Just push it in. Then after that, all you have to do is tap the button and you can switch back and forth between outdoor and indoor so correction there it and it is pretty responsive it switches pretty quick but for right now we'll just leave it in outdoor but i mean look at this thing once again you have the thermocell which is keeping us safe right now from all these mosquitoes it's awful here and then you have this right here and i like that you can see the mat and uh the cool part about this is the heating system is only going to heat the mat. Nothing else is going to get hot on this. Same, the thermosel you can feel a little bit in the back, but not bad. Um, but you don't have any worries about this, especially as the clip is in the back. That's kind of a big deal. I don't like to get burnt. I don't know too many people that will. But I'm just curious to see how these two will stand out and how they'll do side by side. Now... The reason why you should subscribe is we're going to test all these products down in my swamp. It's loaded with mosquitoes. We already did a flex tail light repel and thermosel review. I'll put that down here. It went well for the thermosel. The flex tail failed. It just didn't get hot enough to activate the mats. So that's where these two products come in. This is the, once again, EMR 40, and then this is the EMR 10. The only difference is here, well, there's a couple, several differences here. This has a little bit, it's a bigger battery. Uh, there's two 5,000 ma, so you get 10,000. This is, what, 78 or whatever? Yeah, 7,800, which is still a ton, but this is more. Um, you have a control screen. You have ultrasonic on there, which I'm not, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not exactly blown away by that. I'm not sure what to think. But we're going to test these side by side down there. We're going to test all three of them side by side. We'll have the EMRs and we'll have the thermocell. We'll have a battle, see which is going to be the best. Um, I'm pretty excited about this because where I live, we live out in the country. Uh, we duck hunt. We always, we're always in the woods. Mosquitoes are pretty gnarly down here this time of year. Uh, so stuff like this actually really makes a difference in our lives to be able to actually enjoy outside without getting mauled. This thing right here is going to be my new go-to if the performance is there. I really like the package. I like the specs. I like how small it is, how easy it is to use, a simple design, simple to use, easy to see how much you got left. Hard to beat this, especially for camping or hunting or hiking or anything like that or fishing where you could just put it right on your tackle and you'd be set to go. This is the Nightcore EMR40 overview and first impression. I'm blown away by it. I was actually, this thing's built a lot better than I thought. I We'll see how it performs though, but I got high hopes. I'm gonna be doing the swamp test by itself or versus the thermocell, which should be the standard because this has been proven to work by hundreds of thousands of people. 
and myself included. So we'll probably test this uh, side by side in the swamp, loaded with mosquitoes, head to head, just how you should test them. It ain't fun for me, but if it gives you the information you guys need to make an educated decision, it's worth it to me. That's how we test things here. No BS, honest performance talks, the rest walks. That's how we do things. So guys, if you like that, drop a comment below. Let us know what you think of these. What, what, ooh, that's already hot. That is already hot. That is quick. This thing warms up fast. I mean, that is, I just put my hand over it and I can feel the heat already. That's impressive. I like that. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you use to repel. If you use Thermacell, Nightcore, Flextail, whatever. Uh, drop a comment and let us know what you want to see us test out of these products, Thermacell or whatever. We'll get them. We'll test them. I have the perfect place to test them because it's loaded with mosquitoes. And if it's something's not going to work, you're going to see it firsthand. I will get mauled. And if it, like I said before, if it helps you guys make a decision on what to buy, I'm all for it. All I ask is that you support the channel, and uh, I'll do these kind of tests and keep doing them. So subscribe, drop your comments below, share these videos with anyone looking for any sort of mosquito repellent, anyone you think could use this. We all could use these at this point, but guys, EMR 40, very good first impression, but will it hold up? That's what we're here to do. We're here to test that. Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Catch you on the next one.